Hey everybody, this is Lex at MaxFutures.com and this is going to be a little tutorial to show you how Google's photo backup app for the Mac can work with your, you, you, with your Apple's um, photo app. Now, if you're using a Mac, you know that Apple released recently a new application called Photos and it replaces iPhoto and Aperture. And that's where I put all my photos. One of the problems though is that another great service came out and that is Google now is offering unlimited backup of your photos with Google Photos. The unlimited being they'll compress the photos so they're not at full, full file size. But still, it's a free service where you can back up. And Google has an app for the Mac called Google, um, well, it's called Photos Backup. And uh, I'm clicking on it here in the video. And you can, if you go to Preferences, you can select different, um, different, ser you know, different apps to back up. Now, they have it set up so you can back up from iPhoto in the Apertures library, but not the new Photo photos library now if we go over to let's let me show you here this is my pictures folder on my mac i've got my old aperture libraries my old iphoto library and i've got two photos libraries but how do you how do you add that to the google photos backup it's kind of hard to do because it's not a, they're not folders they are apps, standalone, you know, or backup uh, files, libraries. So the problem with backup photos and libraries is that you can't really um, navigate to their subfolders because they're invisible to the finder. So if you click the add button in the preferences for Google Photos, you won't be able to navigate to the masters uh, folder. Okay, so here we are at the pictures library on my Mac, and as you can see in the in the picker for the Google's photo backup, um, I can pick a folder, but I can't pick I can't pick these apps because they're grayed out. So how do I add that so that the Google Photos backup app, which I installed, backs up the library? Now the way I did it is actually kind of kind of interesting. What I did was this: I went to the, um, the library, the photos library that I wanted. And let's say uh, it's gonna be this one. This is the new photos library. I selected it and I right clicked and I clicked show package contents. And when I showed the, the package contents, I now have, so this is what I did. Once I had the package contents open of the, of the library package for the photos app on the Mac, I went to the Google Photos Backup Apps Preference pane, which is right here. And then I opened Add, which gives me that picker window. And in that picker window, I can't really navigate to the Pictures uh, app uh, subfolders. But what I can do is if I go to that subfolder I opened up in the file finder and let's say I just take it and drag it let's see I'm gonna drag it let me I let me if I drag it over to the Google pickers um, you know finder window for picking a folder you want to add to the backup now it has that address and I'm just gonna click choose and that will add it. Now you see it's now showing uh, in this desktop folders thing. So if I press the okay button, it would add it, but I don't wanna add that one, so I'm not gonna select it. Anyways, that's how you do it. So let's review the steps again to how to back up a library that's your photos app from, uh, from Apple since it's not part of the, the pre-selections. So let's see what you're supposed to do. So go to, go to your 
um, photo library that you want to back up that's not listed as a default in the Google Backup app. Um, right click on it or and pick, pick show package contents. Then you'll see that you'll have diff different folders are now visible within the library such as masters, plugins. The one you want is masters because that's where all the original photos are. And then you want to go to the Google backup app and click preferences. And then in preferences, you want to click the add under desktop folders. That'll create a selection uh, window entitled add watched folders. And you can't navigate to that masters folder using that window. But what you can do is go to your uh, f file folder that's the masters in Finder and just drag it into your your uh, Google preference window and it'll then be looking at that folder and you want to select choose and um, this is what it looks like. So when you're done in the Google Photos backup app, you'll see the address now for your Photos app library in you know in uh, in the preference window, and so that'll mean you can back that up. So you'll see this address. It'll probably be in your pictures folder, and it'll it'll have like uh, an address to the Photos library for your um, photos. Uh, app and it'll be pointing to the master's subfolder in that package. So that's the way to do it until Google updates the Photos Backup app so that it automatically can find your Photos app. Um, Flickr's can can do it. Flickr's backup app, which works with Flickr, automatically has that listed, but for some reason Google, when it released it recently, didn't have that. It only has iPhoto and Aperture. So anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you, and if, um, and if you're interested, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks.